Uh, hello. Um, here we're going to solve this problem. Uh, it comes from the book Fundamentals of Logic Design, 7th edition from Charles by Charles and Larry. And the problem asks or says convert to hexadecimals and then to binary these um, decimal numbers. So we have a uh, 757.25 uh, base 10 or decimal. And I'm only going to do the first one, letter A, and then the procedures are all the same for the other ones. In case if you guys want me to do the other ones, just go and message below, comment below. But for now, just do this one. So, whenever they give you base 10 and you want to convert to, um, to the other bases, in this case, base 16, since 16 is kind of hex decimals. Is base 16. We're gonna go ahead and divide. So 757. Now I'm gonna do it in two parts. First, the whole number, and then I'm gonna do the decimal number, the 0.25. But they both use a little bit different conversion. I mean, um, yeah, conversion method. The whole number, the one on the left side of the decimal point. We're going to divide by 16. This gives us 47. And 47 times 16 equals 752, giving us a remainder of 5. So I do my remainder here of 5. Then I do 47 divided by 16. That gives me 2. 32 when I multiply 2 times 30. Th I'm sorry. Then 2 times 16 equals 32, remainder of 15, and then I'm going to do, again, divide by 2, 2 divided by 16, give you 0, 0 times 16 is 0, 2, okay, so here's my remainders, now the remainders are the answers, and just be aware that this one, since we do a hex, the answer on this one should be F, since the hex, whenever it has those, um, any numbers of uh, 10 or more, it becomes uh, letters. 10 equals A, 11 equals B, 12 equals C, 13 equals D, 14 equals E, and 15 equals F, okay? So I'm going to now put this in order. Now be aware that the order is from last one to the first one. Mine says 2, F, and 5. For the decimals, I'm going to go ahead and multiply. So it's probably in the decimal portion, 0 0.25, and I'll multiply by 16. That's going to give me 4.00. Now I'm going to grab this right, these two numbers right here. And I put it right here in decimals, 0 0.00. Okay, those numbers are these right here. Okay, if it was 0 0.02, write up 0 0.02. Now multiply by 16, that gives me 0. And you keep doing that over and over. Once you start seeing a repetition pattern going on, that's when you stop. And of course, after this, I'm going to get 0 again. So hence, I'll stop here. So now, I'm going to write this down next to this one, but in the order I did it. Unlike here, I did it on the order of uh, on the backward. First the last one, then, this, then the first one. Here I'm going to do the order of how it came out. So I have 4, 0. If that 4 was a 10, it will be then the letter A. Okay? If that 0 was 
of 14, then it will be the letter E. Okay? So, there you go. So that's the answer for the first one. Okay? Now, for the second part, when they're asking me to do a convert to binary, I'm just going to go ahead and let me just uh, make some room here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and use the following conversion. So, the decimal has a weighting uh, conversion of uh, 8, four, two, and one. And you guys probably have learned this in class already. And so, so the number two for a start, it'll be zero, zero, one, zero. One, because you only need one of these two. And actually, this only goes by one or zero. So if it was, if it was like you went the number one like this one, it'll be just one zero zero zero. And record the fifth. Uh, record the average percent of fifteen. So it'll be one. That's eight plus four. Eight nine ten eleven twelve. Thirteen fourteen, and fifteen. So that's the percent of 15, okay? The five will be zero, one, zero, one, since four plus one equals five. So again, now we have the point uh, four, I'm gonna fill just like four, and that becomes zero, one, zero, zero. And of course the last one is zero, zero, okay? So this becomes actually, and we do it in different colors so you guys can see. Oops, oopsie. This is between another one. I did not put it in here. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So my final answer will be. Uh, Zero, zero, one, zero, and one, 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 zero, one, zero, one. So that's the two, the F, which is 15, the number five, the little dot right here represents the decimal point, then the number four, which is zero, one, zero, zero, and of course the zero, one, two, three, four, okay? And base two right there. Okay. So that represents that. And that. Yeah. Okay. I recommend to make a space in between so you guys, can, your, your professor can see, you know, if you turn it to, for professor purposes and or for um, homework purposes, so he'll see, you know, which number percent, which one. And um, I know we're not the class, the professor in mind, and um, technically speaking, you will write all these numbers together, all these uh, binaries, and so if you like, I don't know, writing a book or a research, you'll write these together, but then um, for now, for class purposes, will be good, so this is, um, yeah, this will be your answer for the binary one, and um, so I hope um, this was helpful, helpful for you guys.
discuss uh, this comment below. Uh, if anything, okay? Thank you. Bye.